Good morning everyone. Welcome to our weekly video. We're so happy that you've tuned in once again and it's my great joy to present to all of you Joe uh, Chiarelli. He's been a member of our parish for oh, about 20, 35 years. 35 years and Joe, many of you have seen him. He's a lector at church. He's also a Eucharistic minister, takes communion to the Christian Healthcare Center every week. Uh, he's been very helpful to me. He's also been a member of the Pastoral Council that we just recently uh, reconstituted, uh, been very helpful to me in the formulation of our pastoral plan that uh, we as a staff and as the pastoral council have come together and kind of drawn up a plan where we pl what we plan to do during the next year. So Joe and I will be talking more about that in September, but I just wanted Joe to share with all of you um, his thoughts, um, well his history here in the parish, maybe a little bit more, 35 years, a lot has happened, <laughs> and uh, anything else you want to talk about he's involved in so many things so it doesn't seem like it's 35 years um, in addition to Eucharistic minister and lector I also have helped put back together the Tenenbrae service mm, yeah. which Manfred had uh, created and this is my pitch you really should attend it's the Friday it's Good Friday evening the choir does a magnificent job of marrying the music to the seven words it's just a, one of the most emotionally ex inspiring experiences you could have. So it's that. I agree. I was the seven last words of Christ. It yeah. was really beautiful. My first time, obviously, attending yeah. last year. I have no idea when Good Friday is this coming year. I don't, I don't know. know. But whenever, whatever the date is. Just make sure you come. come. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting because St. I was just thinking about it when Father Stephen asked me to do this. And... I think the thing that makes St. Eve's special is the percent of involvement of the community in all different aspects. We mm -hmm. have, what, over 60 ministries? 63. 63 uh, ministries, And yeah. it's everything from Sacred Heart School mm -hmm. to the sacristans who make sure that all the liturgies are prepared at, you know, adequately and accurately mm -hmm. to Cornerstone and the Giving Tree. Yeah. So yeah. it's uh, it cuts everything from spiritual to emotional to physical. And I think that really it's the glue for a lot of the people in this town and strongly recommend that people, you know, step back and say, well, what could I do that is of service to others? but actually that also links me to other people here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm thinking too, when we share the pastoral plan in September, this thought's just occurring to me right now, maybe we could also make available the, the, the ministry guide. Yeah. Um, so, I'll, Father Carlos, if you're watching this, I know you're on vacation <laughs> now, but um, I want you to put that together again. Uh, that would be great. So, because it really is, there's so many opportunities, as Joe has mentioned, you can get involved in whatever one, you know, uh, as you know, little or as you. much as you want to yeah, do. Yeah. So, well, Joe, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being such an active member in our parish. And I hope many of you uh, will also follow Joe's example and be involved as much as you can. I know many of you are doing that already, but it's an open invitation. The door is always open. We'll make that pastoral uh, guidebook, ministry guidebook available. And, uh, and you can call who's ever in charge of the different ministries, all right? I think yeah. that lists the phone numbers there. Or someone on the pastoral council. Yeah, yeah. But I also want to add, it's because of you that the attitude of the parish has just improved so dramatically over the last year, year and a half. Uh, yeah, you've you. been a blessing and a comfort for everyone here. It's been great having you here. Well, thank you. Thank you. And it's been great being with you guys. And we have a wonderful team, I have to say. So, and all of you wonderful parishioners that make this such a great parish. So thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you all of you. We'll see you at church.